Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 12. Continuing here and searching the new city. Food. I don't know why this game is being just super stingy with me on food this playthrough. I have just had hard times finding food the whole time. I do have some animal meat, but I kind of always try to save that to make stew out of. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to that much in this playthrough because I'm just not finding enough uh, enough other foods to, to eat. That looks like stairs going down, so there might be a gun safe down there. Get down there and check that out. In the basement. Come on, break. Sink. Cardboard box. Eh, glue. There's not a gun safe, but there is a um, a desk and a filing cabinet, so we might find a book in here. Might even find a gun. Sometimes you find guns in these desks, so... Eh, antibiotics, that's good. Come on, book! No. No good books. Okay, uh... Nothing in the medicine cabinet. Eh, nothing. No? Okay, 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 nothing good. Cardboard boxes. They almost never have good loot in them. <laughs> I mean, they are cardboard boxes after all. Uh, well. Actually, I'd rather have that than the paper. What do we got here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well. Did find a couple of good books. Can make steel stuff now, like steel arrows, and but I still need a forge. Like I can't do it. You know, steel book is cool. I can't do anything with it without a forge, so I gotta find Actually wait a minute. I read in the patch notes this morning that they did something let me just double check. They did. You can make the forge without the book now. I forgot about that. They they changed the recipe on it, so you no longer need the book. You need stone, small stones, a bellows, and a short iron pipe. Can I craft a bellow? I can. How do I craft a bellows? Holy shnikes, a lot of animal hide. Okay, so animal hide and iron pipe. And Okay, okay, so that's new. I mean, they just added that in this patch that came down earlier today, so... Um, you no longer have to have a book. I think a lot of people were having problems finding the Forged Ahead book. It was apparently glitched and not spawning in for a lot of people. Um, so they uh, made it so that you don't need the book. <laughs> you can make a Forge without the book now. So that's that's good. I mean, the Fun Pumps are, you know, they're taking people's feedback. And they are adapting the game to that. So that's, I mean, that's good. That's good that when developers care enough to pay attention to what people are telling them and noticing, picking up on trends and problems and fixing them. <laughs> uh, see anything else? Let's see. I think I've gotten into this building already. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else on this street? It's like I tried. Yeah, I might have got into this building already because it's the back door is knocked down. So I think I've searched this whole street now. This door's unlocked. <laughs> yeah, but I've searched it because I came in through the back door. Okay. All right. So that's done. This street is done. Let's start working on this street right here. Oil barrel. I definitely want to grab that. Let's see. Got to be something I can break down or scrap. I could scrap the hat because I've got a helmet and I think a helmet's probably better. I'm just going to drop that destroyed stone. I mean, stone is something you can always find. Oh, what the hell? Cactus, get out of my way. How could you do that? It hurts. Oh. Uh, let's see. Have I been in this building? This burned out looking building. 
Ah, I've been here. Oh wait, ooh. Pay attention, repair. That was almost bad. What do we got in here? I wonder if those things break down into anything. Vitamin. Use. Tempted to try. Oh, those are metal. Nah. That's metal. I mean, it'll break down to scrap metal, but I don't have a, uh, a decent pickaxe. So it'll take a while to break down. Ooh, another oil bear. Ooh, hey, hey. Glad I came out here. Didn't have to chop down that door. Ah, I'm all good book. Damn it. Nothing. Spam! Eat it! Eat it! Just eat it! Sorry. <laughs> and that's about it for this building. Moving right along to the next one. Got the little water tower looking building there. Alright, so what is this? This is an interesting looking building. Oh, it's got an oil barrel. Back door's locked. Let's see about this. Is there a way up here? Hey, look at that. That's easy entry right there, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Sink. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Anything else? Nothing? Nada? There's not a roof access to this? Some of these buildings have third stories, but... Apparently this one does not. Oh, another oil barrel. It's tall enough. It should have a roof access, but it doesn't. Okay. Let's see if we can get in downstairs. Let's see, the back door was locked, and it was just a standard door. What about the front? Uh, locked. But, but, I should be able to get in through this one probably just as easy as the other one. What do we got here? Not a damn thing. <laughs> there ain't shit in this building. This building has been a terrible waste of my time. Thank you. Oh, wait. Not a total. I'll take that. Cloth fragments. Ha! Didn't leave empty handed, did I? <laughs> uh, locked door. Figures. So we go in through the window. Try door number two. Good book. Vitamins. Sunglasses. Eh. Oh yeah, I'm super cool now. I got shades on, kid. I got my shades on. More shades, okay, well. And a pistol barrel. Can I scrap it right there in my inventory? Wow. That is super handy. Painkiller. Uh, I'm a little, tiny bit low on health, so go ahead and take that. That is too cool. I don't even have to take stuff out of the whatever you're looting and just take it directly. I wish I'd have been right clicking stuff more often. <laughs> Cornmeal. Hmm. Hmm. Wood Debris. Eh, it's good to burn, but... Scrap that stupid hat. Nothing. Alright. Oh, downstairs. What do we got? No backpack? No backpack. Eh. It's a wooden door, but it's got metal. This will take a minute, sorry. I want to get in here. Could just very well have a gun safe in it. There we 
we go. Metal's off, wood's off. Bust through this door, let's get in here. What's in here, is it awesome? Is it cool, the red? Oh, there is a gun safe, there is a gun safe, yes. Oh, damn it. What you got, bro? 44 Magnum grip. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I'll take that. Uh, actually, let's do it like this. Save a spot in my inventory. I don't think I really need any more glass jars at the moment. I've got a bunch already. All right, so let's put a, another another safe. Oh crap, I don't have any more stones to repair it. There we go. Oh, pump shotgun receiver. Mm, and a hunting rifle barrel, which is better than that one, so. Scrap that. Mm, that's a decent pistol receiver. Mm. Yeah, let's scrap this. Take that, and I don't remember if I've got a receiver at the base or not. Uh, can you craft that into planks, or you sure can. So let's just break that down into planks. Okay, cool. So our inventory is full now. Got a bunch of new gun parts. Uh, it's 5:33, so actually probably ought to start heading back anyways. Let's just be real thorough here, real quick, and make sure. I just had to stick sunglasses in it. Make sure there's nothing I missed. Uh, that could be something upstairs. Let's just give it a check real quick. Still got a little bit of daylight left. And what's in here? I can't tell. Doesn't look like there's a gun safe in it, but I'm gonna break in real quick. Might be a bookshelf in there. I could use the book right now. I could use a good book to read in a zombie apocalypse. Keeps you busy, keeps your mind occupied off of the horrors that await you around every corner. <laughs> Oh, shiggle dibble. Let's see. A blue pistol grip. Um. Well, something's got to go. Oh, boy. What to lose? What's obvious? What's obvious that I'm missing? The torch, maybe? I can always craft another torch with some animal fat. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe the lead. Um. Yeah, let's lose the lead, because I can always find a lead underground, probably. Alright. 
Well, I'm just going to head back to base, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in again. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every day. Lots of 7 Days to Die and other games. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.